Hi everyone, in today's video, we're gonna be sending our grill off to the polishers. Hi everyone and welcome to the channel about kit cars and other car topics. If you like what you see, please subscribe and hit the notification buttons below and share with others on social media. So, as we all know, the grill, radiator, you know, all that stuff has just been like my nemesis. It's just been hard to put together, hard to drill through, hard everything. It's just been kind of a nightmare. And it's been finished for a while, but now that we're getting close to actually, you know, kind of compiling and putting the final pieces on the car, um, you know, I want to send it off to the polishers, which means I have to take the whole thing apart. Now, if we go back in time and watch some of my other videos, uh, this thing was brutal. And it's the first thing that I ever put rib nuts in, uh, in, in my life. I've never done rib nuts before. And I just don't feel that I did a great job. I also know that I was having a hard time getting the bolts to, to go in right. So I've had to tap these things a few times to get them, get those bolts to go through. And that's just not how it should be. So when I take this apart, I got a feeling it's going to be a nightmare and it might not even come apart. So, but I have new rivet nuts and it's a different type that's a little bit easier to squeeze uh, to get on there. And so let's just see how it goes, but let's take this thing apart. So as I move forward and uh, getting the front end finished, I didn't want to take the whole front end apart and put it together multiple times. And after a lot of discussion, you know, I was getting a bunch of people tell me that I want to have my grill polished. And, uh, and I was like, eh, I'd rather just paint it and be done with it, you know, and not have to do upkeep and stuff. But, uh, I finally went online, I looked at a ton of pictures of these cars to see what really jumps out, especially with my color scheme. And they were right, polishing it is what really blings up the front of the car. And so I dropped this off, and this is what we got back. 
so it's basically almost chromed out, which I was not expecting it to be like that. I just figured it would be not as deep, I guess. And uh, they did a great job. We did the front of all the part and just this edge around the edge and then the back's what it used to look like, which is pretty dull and rough. And uh, man, it just looks amazing. So, costs about 250 bucks, which is kind of the average price in my area of what it costs to do this. Um, but they did a great job. And he was saying that I don't really have to use a bunch of products or anything like that. He said, you know, as long as you're not leaving water, sit on it, it should last 10 years or so. Uh, no problem before you have to do any touch up. I don't know if I believe that, but uh, maybe I'll use some of that shark hide or something like that. Um, not really sure yet, but uh, anybody have suggestions, I'm all for it. So I'm going to try to uh, reinstall some rib nuts, some different type of rib nuts, and uh, slowly put this thing back together and uh, do it inside the air conditioning of my house. Now one step I never did originally when I put this all together was actually install the hinges. So now that we're getting ready to do the body work and get the hood aligned and all that stuff, I need to have the hinge on. So I'm going to go ahead and install that and hopefully this is the last time I put this all together.
Well, there you have it. This thing is ready to go, but I'm not gonna put it on the car just yet because I still need to pull the engine and pull the firewall to actually paint it. So until next time, have a great day.